we're back with Ultimate Fishing Simulator. Still getting to grips with this game. But All right, so you got your fisheries here. I've managed to unlock a few now. Pal Lake. St. Zeno's Lakes. Not been to this lake yet. Um, if I'm being honest, I'll, I want to save. Um, I money for. Um, sea fishing, if I'm honest. Uh, level 7 I am. Um, the first sea fishing level is level 9. So we've got a little way to go. So maybe we'll have a... Little look here, I think. We'll buy the license. Um, we'll look and see at the baits. I can't remember what I've got left on my bait. My tackle box. Um, got some pieces, but I mean, corn, if I remember rightly, was working very well. Bread not so much. Um, flies not is okay. So we can buy some of them. It's strange that you buy them in quantities though of just one. That I find very a little bit strange. Nuggets work very well. Two. I will have ten of them. Corn work very well. So I'm going to have quite a few of these. And hopefully, so red worm. Also work very well, but a bit more expensive. Um, we get pike out of uh, cutthroat. I can't see pike on there. Live bait will be pikes, I would have thought. Well, can't buy that anyway. Perch, catfish. Usually you'd think that would be, we'll have some of them, but only, we'll have a few more maggots I think. to 
Yeah. So this is a new lake that I've not actually played yet. I love the old idea of Ultimate Fishing Simulator, the first person walk around. And love the idea of a, a slight arcade element to it. But it does have massive elements of a simulator, hence the reason it's Ultimate Fishing Simulator. So I think it's a cross between both, really. As with a lot of fishing games and stuff like that, I like to play with the sound quite high, but the music off the music is a little bit, let's say, different. Um, certainly not what I would consider relaxing. So we're going to enter the boat. That's my new fan view. So if we, um, I don't want to use bread. So if we change that to a maggot. Resume fishing. And away we go. Do like the underwater camera. Let's see what's going on. There's no way I could play this game um, in the evening for me personally. It's definitely a morning game for me. It's definitely a, a wake up in morning coffee sort of game. Oh, we've got a bite. So, oh. we need to set our intentions. So, you do that by left stick, uh, left on the D pad, sorry. As you can see, this fish has got a little bit of fight. Um, the thing you have to be careful about in this game is obviously the fish that you're catching. Um, you don't want the... Uh, sell value to be less than what the bait is to buy. She's just gonna end up with a loss. There's our underwater camera again. Bait on there. Fish escaped because we didn't strike. Might actually leave this location in a second and uh, a little 
drive around in the boat and see what's more because obviously we're quite close to the uh, shore. I mean, the good thing about this game is that visiting places doesn't cost you any money as such other than the, your initial um, license to fish there, which is, once you bought it, you've got it, you know, for the rest, the rest of your game, you know, it's not something that you have to buy repeatedly every time you fish. We have a fish. Uh, float. Been attacked, and it's another bull, blue bill. But you see, I'm only making I think two dollars. I think really, in all honesty, so not happy with where we are. So, that's where we started. go out a bit and see. I mean obviously there's plenty of fish to be had. We're not after the spin fish. indicator on the sonar the bigger the fish. So the yeah, so have gone past loads of are on there but oh this is a tiny one. Now we're heading this way. on the boat, where you could just uh, fish off the shore. to leave it there or
bit down there. So we waited for the float to be taken. <coughs> so what we have we have a black crappy cell. Water's quite clear because you can see some of the fish flowing around. Oh, I didn't actually see the floats. So it's a good point that I uh, went and clicked on the underwater camera. I, I will say that the uh, float could still, position of the float could still be doing a bit better on this game. I'll see what we'll do. Um, just have a look at the fishery from, from that point of view. So you can't travel while fishing or being on a boat, but there are different areas you can fish from here. But what I'm going to do is actually come out of this place and we'll exit. And we'll go to a, a nice spot that I found the other day which actually earned me quite a lot of um, cash might have just got lucky you never know but um, where is this Powell Lake it was and we'll go there because again you can use the boat to the find your correct position the sea fisherman in me, even though this isn't sea fishing, likes to fish off piers and beaches and that sort of thing. So, with that being said, I thought we would fish off the quay. So this is the marina, basically. And then your boat is on your left here, the yellow boat, or up ahead. It's something that I do like to do, and I found out on this game is you can fish off the key. And like I said, I did fish off here the other day, and we had a few decent fish, as you can see. So with a maggot, we're just gonna plunk that in there, and we'll see. And this happens so top tip hopefully it all works out live on mixer this is a good place to get some cash probably won't catch anything now I said that on here but I did earn sort of roughly a thousand sort of dollars in game currency on this game just fishing in this spot um, you know, I can't remember if I use maggots or I use something else but we'll stick to maggots because obviously there's a decent fish coming here it takes the float on the right 
of bait and now we're at a little bit more of a challenge. Thing about the tension on this, you either have zero, um, it's 33, 67, or 100. Do in between, um, not a fantastic example of uh, money, but I hope to find a bigger fish shortly. Water camera again. So that looks like a better fish. It's going to take the boat hopefully very shortly. We're in the pool. The strike. Hopefully a really got a bit of a welly on this one, it looks like it's a fight. See in the red but look. There you are, striped bass. Sell for 121 or release for 24 a new record as well, 7.94 kilos. Yeah, that's not bad. And that all done on the maggot, which I think was four dollars. So, the idea to build your money, the, obviously, the bigger the fish as well. The more XP we'll get, and the quicker we'll unlock, which for me, ultimately, the reason I bought this game was the sea fishing element. thinking with the way that the fish are further down we need to place a lure make the lead longer although they obviously do swim up to have a look what's that floating around in the water I think for here we can adjust the line there's a large mouth bass and there's an achievement that will pop up. I haven't got one of them yet. So to do the line, press the start button, put up here. You float line length, so I say. I think this is quite deep, this. So if we go maybe 105 centimetres, so a full metre in terms of depth. And Hopefully you'll see from the underwater camera that the line is now a different position. In some respects it's a little bit too it's all the fish. Mind you, it's not too bad, is it? As I say you saw the fish above it just a second ago was but few minutes before it was um, below it so that was the idea of um, changing the length of the line in terms of where the float is and the hook is but we've caught a fish certainly got one hooked anyway and like I said the, the, this is why I left the route the blue gear is why I left the last fishery because I actually want some money for my bait really.
maybe we need to go somewhere in between of what we had before although there's a nice they'll say there's another blue gill look like it's swimming towards it but it's a in fishing in real life you take anything because it's the sport it's, it's not the but I'm after the, the cash because I want to unlock the sea fishing we're there it's right and now it's running away Oh, okay. striped bass. So Forty dollars. Obviously, there are other areas where we can fish off. So we could just here. We can use our hawk mode. We can tell me where the fish are. in a strike, I mean I could have stayed where I was but we have moved We're obviously in the desert like area. See the stain coming off, you know. The other thing for getting money is um, new rods and stuff like that, and you can have more than one rod at a time. Be interested to see how that works actually, because I I didn't mind that on Fishing Planet having more, more than one rod, although I did prefer just one rod. on fishing sim world I found more than one rod in theory would have been great but you never seem to be quick enough to pick up the rod and strike and then go to the next one and strike so I don't mean to slate any game but fishing sim world It seems to have it all, but then it's really let down in the mechanics. It's, it's obviously well supported as a game because there's loads of content, and I'm I'm aiming to be in the uh, minority in terms of how I feel. So we're going to show an underwater sort of battle, if you like. Uh, Nice if it wasn't a blue gill. It is. And it's still giving XP, so can't complain too much. I say we'll go to this spot that I found, which did generate a few fish. Another day. You sizable fish, anyway.
Hey, there would you go? Gonna do another underwater. Get that fish really, really in its best to get away, but it's not a big fish. But because of the type of fish it is, you get some money for it. I said the idea of the money is to buy better gear. And for me, to unlock more fishing lakes and stuff to fish in. And once they're unlocked, I can then choose and go to the laid back of fishing approach of actually I'm here for just uh, just enjoy fishing rather than I'm going for the XP and the cash obviously something where I've got to with um, fishing planet is that you do quickly get find certain lakes that you really enjoy and once you get there the game you don't know it's the grind so I, by no means am I hiding the fact that fishing games are a bit of a grind certainly with an XP system they are eventually you get past that even though it's still going on you don't notice it so much because you get enjoyment because you find a lake that you like and you get a nice relaxed feeling I mean the, the wife will say what are you playing that for there are other games yeah, it, is a, it is a relaxed feeling and it is the first thing in the morning sort of feeling it's not Say if I was to put this on in the evening, it's not, it's not the most riveting game. It's not going to put you in a zen mood. It might um, cheer you out so much that you might end up in the early night. That's our underwater camera. You can see now change your day. But obviously at half past six, it gets dark here. Cause it's raining, so never good. As an angler, Oh, good morning, Hawkeye. You come to check out this game, have you? Is your underwater camera? Something different. It's the evening, so there's not much to look at. It's the only fishing game that I know that uses an underwater camera. So you can actually catch the fish this way as well if if you if you want so as you can see but you'll notice that I actually with that fish I must have accidentally pressed B B just brings it straight in it's a bit of a pain in the ass actually if I'm honest that you can easily catch B and it just automatically reels the rod in so with no fish resets it so it's a bit of a pain did you read my Discord thing, Hawk? As if you did. I was being completely honest on the fishing side of things. Yeah, 
take that. So strike and real. Have you actually played the free to play fishing planet yet? That is the that is the question. Play that first. Because that will give you an idea of whether you like it. This is this is more arcade, I, w I will be honest. This is sort of more arcade. It has the similar elements, but you can see the time of day is just flying by. It, you know, if you look in the top right hand corner, the time is just... For every second, it, you know, it's a minute, basically. Where some fishing planet is a little bit different and you take the weather into account a lot more and it's a lot more detailed but I still have a lot of fun with this you like the thinly controls you see this is a little bit more um, sort of simpler in, in that but if I'm honest the, uh, the, the the dovetail feels a bit like the Sea of Thieves sort of fishing in terms of you go left and then you go right and I haven't given up with Fishing Sim World at all. I've, I've tried to have a go. I, I actually streamed Fishing Sim World on here. If you look back through the things, I think last Sunday I, fi I streamed it. Although, I just don't get on with it as much. It's personal choice. See, this still has your float in the right hand side to indicate that way, but I'm not going to get anywhere with no bait, am I? That's sake. Just about, they ain't got no bait on the thing. Right, I better wheel it in then. Don't think any fish is just going to come and land on my. Christ, right, so. Change here. We go for. I haven't got any maggots left. We'll try a fly. Values. So with Fishing Planet, you probably could get away with that, with just having the free to play, without buying the, the Fisherman. I mean, I got the Fisherman through a review sort of thing and I, it is a better game but I'm quite happily playing Fishing Planet free to play too for me it's just a little bit annoying because I play both that even though it's the same game and it's the same multiplayer as well because from what I believe the multiplayer from Fishing Planet is the multiplayer in the Fisherman so in theory they should merge the two games sort of rank and level and up system together but they don't so on Fisherman, I'm sort of rank nine, and on Fishing Planet, I'm sort of nearer sort of twenty now. So, and, uh, I'm too busy chatting, chatting away. That's my point, my problem. Yeah, I, I bought the first Euro fishing from Dovetail. I, I I bought that as well, and I did I didn't mind it. I didn't mind it. I, I, there's just something about fishing sim world, but it's on Game Pass, so you can, you can't go wrong wrong with fishing sim world. I need to give it more time, really. I shall give it more time, but obviously I'm into this one at the moment. I need to keep my sea fishing. Level 9 is what I need for my sea fishing on here. My first sea fishing.
Whoa. Oh, we've got jumping fish. I've got one circling my bait. We'll take it, for Christ's sake. Uh, hurry up and just bite it, for Christ's sake. Think of it that way. Christ. Uh. Are you hungry or not? Ah, <laughs> that'll make you grab it. Like a dog with a bone, that. But bluegill is not what I want to be catching in terms of the money. Back in five, you're going to continue watching, okay, mate. Still got jumping fish. <laughs> I know we've got one approaching, he's not going to mess around this one. of better value. But what we'll do is I'll come away from here. Exit. Go back to the very first lake, Betty Lake. We'll try our luck there for a little bit.
<laughs> work. <laughs> Is someone supposed to be working? <laughs> or are you on call? So here we are. This is the very first Lake Hawk. This will be the first thing you come open. I mean, you, I spoke to Skewy about sort of um, elements of sort of RPG, and I'll show you quickly if I can, if I can remember. Right, if you come across here, which is the, this one, it's your skills. So you level up and you purchase different skills. So lower prices, um, strength. Ah, that's all right then. So at half eight, it is off, is it? Uh, buy yourself a beard. Apparently it gives you more XP if you have a beard. You use boats. I've bought that. I'll show you that. Hunter vision is where I was going to show you. I've unlocked hunter vision. So if you go to hunter vision, if you press Y, it shows you if you can't see where the fish are. But um, what we'll do is we'll just quickly plonk that in there and hope that fish comes for it. I might even, for a treat, in a minute, turn the uh, music on and just show you why I haven't got music on. Because it's quite, quite annoying. The underwater camera fishing again if you want. Or float fishing, but it has all the other sort of types of fishing, you know, spinning and all that sort of stuff. So it has everything. I'm saying, so, and I am really enjoying it as the fishing game goes. I just need that sea fishing unlocked, and then I can be really, really biased and say, "Hey, you got to buy this. You got to buy this. You got to buy this." Nah, I wouldn't do that if I say I'll be as honest as I can be. So a book trout. So you can choose on this to sell it and you'll get six cash or you can release it and you'll get an extra bit of XP. If it's telling you what XP you're going to get is 6, and it'll give you 7 if you sell it. So you're going to get XP anyway, so or you do need the cash on this game. But if you press the start button, you can see all this. So you can buy different rods. If you go to spinning rods, you can buy all that. Plenty to buy. Casting rods, feeder rods. Got all all, all your different reels and that. Uh, lines. Your different lines. Floats, all your different floats. Hooks. Baits, all your bait. Got lures, feeders, and... and feeder baits and you've got other which is ground baits and they're called rod pods but it's your rods you've got bite indicators there's even more others and if you want to you can actually net the fish yourself I haven't done that yet I shouldn't do that eventually um, I'm just like I say just trying to save the money or the sea fishing. But is your rod customizations? You have five rods, if you wish. And sets. You've got your float length here, so you can. At the moment, I've got the float probably too long because it's in the other place. But I'll just drop it down a bit to seventy-two. Yeah, I've snuck on before the kids wake up is what I have. So I'm doing a little bit of uh, streaming. I've already streamed a, a couple of challenges that I was doing. 
I even streamed a bit of Fishing Planet if you want to have a look at that as well at some point. So I've actually streamed all three fishing games in the, in the space of a week. I was going to show you the music, wasn't I? But yeah, I, looked, I saw that fish come in there. I keep going on about fish and plates, don't I? <laughs> right, so there's your indicators down here. So the optimal is green. Obviously, but that is set. But you can do that by adjusting your um, tightness. So if you press your left on your D-pad... You go 33, 67 or 100. 67 is about right. This is quite a big fish. It certainly feels like a big fish anyway. And it's not that big, is it? Look, blimey, it's just quite strong. I was expecting quite a big fish the way it's taking attention on that. But well, I say it is quite a big brown trout, but that's that. But if I come out, I'll come out and I'll place it here. I'll just show you a couple of things while you're watching. Is it better than watching paint dry? That's the thing. So, if I come out of here and I don't want to change it, so how do I? Uh, <laughs> yeah, what kind of thing? I was actually going to try and show you my trophy room, but I forgot how to do that. Ah, the trophy room, there you are. If you go to the trophy room, yeah, I can walk around your own house. Look, it's watched, watched a bit of fire. Can't sit down there or anything. But this has all your um, trophies in it, so. There's my mirror cup. And then the upstairs. See, I'm not... They could have built on this and uh, sort of unlocked furniture and bits and pieces like that if you... There's a rainbow trout. I've caught one of them already. And there's my plaque. So you have all this to fill. Um, so... A little something that's different. So you've got your underwater camera, which is different. You've got that that's different. And these are your lakes. So this is your first lake, Betty Lake. And then you've got Betty Lake in winter. I actually haven't tried that out yet. Um, and that's where you buy your license, but it's not very much. The licenses and that, they're not, they don't cost a lot. Power Lake. Um, St. Zeno's Lake and then you've got your fishing species I'm trying to I've just had a go at that one before it's not too bad I am trying to get to Pines Bay Piners Bay sea fishing so this is shore fishing you can't catch very much really there's only four different types of fish but then you've got your deep sea fishing it's a bit more and then a bit more freshwater fishing in canada you have a winter version of that 
then you can go fishing at a dam and there's from the looks of things there's loads of fish there to catch and then you get to where i want to finally get to eventually which is greenland because you can actually catch some cod atlantic cod But level 13 and then level 14, um, you can actually do a little bit of shark fishing, apparently. Which will be different. Which is why I was looking forward to this game. Just the sea fishing more than anything. Because they don't do it on anything else. But uh, we'll go here, back to the first... Fishing, and I'm just going to put the annoying music on just to annoy you. And then I will have to go, but I reckon, because I can hear some noises and they're never going to let me chat. It will turn into the Nakabat Kids show if I'm not too careful. Or the Eyes to Law Kids show. So, we'll stick the music on, so, in settings, so, just last one, some annoying music, and you would fish all the way to that. is a little bit uh, fiddly with as well but you can have your bait indicators automatic netting you can also show tension in the rod as well rather than have the indicator which is your green a coloured system you can have it just shown on your tension in the rod whether you've you know you're doing too much on the rod so yeah that I shall leave it there then, sir. And I'll catch you later.